So, Wesker, what are we doing today? The same thing we do every day. What's your name again? Birkin. Right, the same thing we do every day, Barkin. Try to take over the world. It's Wesker and the Burk. It's Wesker and the Burk. Both of them are genius, and both of them are jerks. Says but, wait, I thought, okay. but wait, I thought this was the bonus part starring Jill Valentine. Yes, it is. It is, it is. What was that? It's that too. So we decided, uh, Matt had to only no. for that one, and because now we know about Birkin, it may as well make sense now. So I'm sure we can trust Wesker to leave us and Barry alone just fine. All right. To go. So, uh, Logan, right. why don't you go ahead and tell us what you what what sort of uh, behind the scenes shenanigans you had to do get just to get us this footage? I had to go to a long play website, and as you can see in the lower left, because of the watermark, this is this footage was recorded by I am Panax, I believe I'm, I'm reading that correctly, and he basically put together all the cutscenes of Jill's playthrough, uh, mixed with some gameplay to help add context. But uh, effectively, what we're doing here is basically what James did with his Deadly Silence playthrough with Chris's footage. We're gonna I basically see just a little, a, a little this. movie, a little, you know, the, the daytime theater, nighttime theater of uh, what Jill was going through in her alternate universe take of the Jill. mansion of the uh, freaking Arclay Mountains incident. When you stop to think about it, by actual uh, feature length rules, this this technically would count as a feature length movie because it's only just above a half an hour. Actually, yeah, no. Let me check. Uh, I thought feature. Oh, I thought feature length had to be over sixty or over ninety minutes. I, well, I think it used. To, I think it used to be thirty minutes, but I guess on. they might have changed. They might have changed that. In recent hold on. Years. A feature film. Oh. Uh, it, all right. According Ooh. to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the American mm -hmm. Film Institute and the British Film Institute, uh, a feature film runs for more than forty minutes. Oh, so we, uh, we were just bare, we were just off by like a few minutes. Darn, I was almost time to get the popcorn, but no popcorn to now. Uh, and as you can see Look here, out, even though we have a gun, there. we're gonna save ourselves some bullets and let Barry put let that old uh, python to work. Which, yeah, I'm also gonna say that right now, Matt. Holy shit, that zombie took three magnum rounds to down. He must have been G virus then. I found Kenneth. Might, or, or he was just, or he was just very close to becoming a crimson head. Oh, if not that, I guess we can also talk about uh, while we're doing this, James. I don't know if we already discussed it, but did we already discuss uh, what uh, one of the other like bonus modes of this game is? The uh, one deadly zombie mode, or something? Uh, there's a couple of bonus modes with the uh, Resident Evil remake, as far as I'm aware. There's the one danger zombie mode. Where uh, and er, where uh, Force comes back to life, and he will he essentially pulls a nemesis in that he'll chase you all across the uh, areas of the game, strapped with a whole bunch of explosives. And if at any point you do any sort of damage to him, boom. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah, you have no choice but to avoid him at all costs. Basically, put, imagine if Mr. X was chasing you around the entire game, and if you tried to do anything to him, game over. Pretty much. pretty much. There was, but yeah, no, there's that mode, and then there's also, um, I forget what the mode is called exactly, but it reverts the, uh, it reverts all the item boxes you've been finding to its, like, its very prototype rules, in that all of them are separated, and you have to remember, like, which items you put in what box if you want to properly succeed. Basically, oh, it's... Master of Unlocking. Basically, it is the, uh, prototype to what, uh, Zero kind of did. Okay. Yeah. But worse. Zero oh. did it worse, is what I mean. Well, it's also because that game didn't have item boxes. You exactly. just have to put your shit on the floor and hope that you're both, uh, both, uh, Rebecca and, uh, what's his face, uh, Billy Cohen had literally enough, enough space in their six pocket frame to store their shit. Yeah. So as far as Jill's story is concerned, as you already have seen here, once again, Barry's replacing Rebecca and all oh, these Oh, jeez, dude, you reek! Oh, my oh, lord. I've been trying to shower! Time. You're supposed to use soap in the shower! I'm allergic Damn. to soap! Also, this, wow. this game stomps it, this man. game kills uh, this zombie through a cutscene, oh, whereas in god. Chris's scenario, obviously, we had to actually kill him. Yeah, no, with Jill's scenario, whether it be the original or this version, they definitely give you a lot of leeway with some of its um, set pieces. Such as this instance, where if I decided not to bring the broken shotgun with me and leave through here without de de you know, deactivating the trap I just pulled on myself, 
Uh oh. I guess oh, one thing no. we can bring up that we didn't in the original game. I want to say that this set piece is actually time sensitive. Like, if you do this thing later, as opposed to like at the, your earliest convenience, Barry doesn't come to save you, and you're literally oh, screwed. Correct. That sucks. Uh, how? I, also, can I just say one God. one of my favorite what instances of the like br using a broken shotgun to get another Oscar, shotgun. Barry, uh, help. it's not really a spoiler because oh, it is Jill, a gameplay mechanic within the game, not a story mechanic. In the Resident Evil jammed. Seven, uh, you do a similar. Uh, Barry. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, even break the knob. Oh, God. oh we go. <laughs> but it was still close and fine. Here's the, here's the, as we drag through the uh, door. I'll finish animation. my thought in a second. Because oh, we have to hear geez. this iteration's version of it. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Uh. Really? And yes. So. <laughs> Honestly, not I mean, really lies. it's not it's not quite as handy, but I do think there there is something there is something mildly charming about how casually he said that. And I, it's I I like that they didn't try to just out. I, I like to uh, you finish your thing first, Matt. I think you're anyway, going to say the same thing. Basically, we I like how they didn't just get rid of the line. They didn't just right. out straight up go like, no, that line was stupid. Let's no, not even do it. Different line. No, different they thing entirely. They referenced yeah. the line. At least. I mean, and also... they just try to find a way to make it sound more natural yeah. for their. Oh, oh, he's Sperry. It's just left. No. You just saw. It. Oh, that's right. I mean, I also like just... to think that it's sort of like it, it's their way of showing that Barry, despite having his you know times of unease in this game, he still has a sense of humor. And I mean, he has to because he literally has two daughters and a wife to uh, return mm. to. Basically, I am a dad joke machine of the series. Oh. And also, as we see here, because in Jill scenario, we uh, certain things can be wait. Third, can it fizz? Yep. Oh, Barry, you, I knew, you remember that I love Sprite. Aww. Certain things. Acid oh, I'm sorry. It's not Sprite. It's actually Mountain Dew. Oh, that's much worse. What about you? <laughs> I'll take wow. you. I like the bite system we have here. But, <laughs> by the way, I say that, I actually like Mountain Dew, and I'm making fun of it. Me too. I like Mountain Dew. I like, I like Mountain Dew like on occasion. Blast. Not all the time. Not all the time. Oh, ooh. Hey, Forrest. Oh, boy. No he raven still, me. though. They don't show that section. Nope. They don't show but that. They have a bunch but... of moths. Okay, yep. so. And he's given up the ghost. Oh. Somewhere out what? there, Barry literally said uh, that, and Jill's just barely, barely hear it. Uh, honestly, <laughs> one of my favorite things is yesterday in uh, the uh, I'll take this, though. in the finale of um, Critical Role, <laughs> Talos and Jaffe was wearing yes. one of my favorite shirts that I definitely need to get that says, We are all oh, eventually ghosts. What happened? Damn. It was that, You're and uh, I know Philip DeFranco, his son, once said something that he put on a shirt, which was, One day we will all be skeleton. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we aren't we technically already are. We just have a bunch of meat over it. That's fair. That is true. Anyway, you're all skeleton. Do you mind anyway. if I finish the shotgun thing? Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Also, poor so, Richard. No Rebecca here to save him now. Richard, hold yeah, on. you have to be fast on this one. Um, but yeah, so uh, the whole thing with uh, the shotgun and seven, it's a similar okay? thing. You're gonna make well, it. Thankfully, there's no like thing to try to crush you, but you need to use a broken shotgun to get another shotgun and all. However, right. uh, once you use that broken shotgun, that broken shotgun can actually be fixed. Here, if you don't go after the initial shotgun and all that, if you don't use the broken one to weigh down the uh, thing holding it and then get that shotgun, you can actually get fix the broken shotgun and get a more powerful one. It has less shots, but it is like twice as powerful. Uh, however... Later in the game, you can find a toy shotgun where you can go back and actually replace the broken shotgun with the toy one and then fix the broken one, and now you have two good shotguns. God, just look at that arm, man. I know, yeah. it got torn up. And unfortunately... Oh, hang on first. Barry's looking at something. Oh, it's so hard to think. <laughs> oh, boy. You gotta stop sticking up on that like that, Joe. You done did me a frighten. I almost, I, don't know, I almost got freaked out and pressed the freaking like shadow button, which is also the pistol. Oh, Martin Crack Corn. We still don't care. <laughs> Martin Crack Corn. Yep. <laughs> I about to say. I, we right about this so, I took, I took that because James threw that off me, and I, it caught me so off guard in my practice Where's run. The part Just, that's yeah. Torn off? <laughs> well, my only guess is that it was the most important. Yeah. I mean, I already we're starting to see here, which Actually, this is yeah. Another... I, I was the one that technically did start that whole thing back when you were doing your test one, wasn't I? 
Yeah, and it worked. Also, <laughs> anyway. also fun fact about oh. this character. He technically has two names. One, we saw there, Martin Crackhorn. The other is Martin Cluckhone. I'm going to actually... What? I want you to put the way it's spelled on screen. All right? Cluckhorn. No, where, where is that this. spell? Where is it references that? Uh, the wiki. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Okay. I mean, assuming also, it's, it's assuming it's been cited. Yeah, no. And as it you is, see here, it... still true to form, Jill knows how to play the piano. And I think real quick, as we also know, there, I believe she can use flash grenades, but instead of a knife, a dagger, she uses a taser as one of her self-defense weapons. Oh yeah. Yep. She does use the daggers as well, but the taser is also a good one. Also, oh, uh, but, okay, then it's not the flash grenades. Also, okay. I will say hey, the Resident Evil wiki is <laughs> very well kept. Just to let you know, so. I, I just I, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look into the history as to why his name is Cluckhorn. Also, because we saved him earlier. I'm sorry about this, Richard. Payback time. I mean, damn! But he's bracing that Oof. shotgun against his freaking poisoned oh, arm, but it's kind of metal. And at least here he's actually helping us out for a change. It's supposed to in Chris's scenario where he literally he was literally, shows up. He he literally got wet feet. It's okay, Bart. Oh, I regret that. Anyway, he'll we'll, we'll let me use our, our ammo, but unfortunately, Jan gets kind of pissed off later. Yep. Well. As it, and by later, I mean right now. It's officially been later. In... Oh. At least here, at least here oh. Richard made, made oh. a heroic sacrifice. Honestly, Why with the way that... Why food? I'm not going to lie, with the way Jan was angling, he looked like you could very well have gotten both of them. We probably could have, but meanwhile, once again, no matter what we do, Richard is food. Time to run. Yeah, it's kind of sad in retrospect. Like, especially Jill Sidara, like, at first he gets bitten by the damn thing and gets poisoned. Hey. And then here he just get uh, gets up and eaten by the poor thing in an act, in an act of, um, act of hero heroism. Yeah. I like, I like how shotgun. both times you described that scenario, you called the snake poor. <laughs> well, I mean, look at the, he's look at him. He, he's probably not used to all that stunted growth. And, no, and Jill's clearly also, not used oh. to having all that poison in her system. But crap, we have no Becky. How are we gonna get serum? Well, uh, like... will it into existence? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, oh they oh they changed it for the remake. Here, you actually have to get the serum yourself. And you have to be cut. you're on a timer to hope you weren't at low health when you were running away from mm -hmm. Yon. Well, the poison poison will never kill you. It'll just take you down to like near death, like oh. you're looking like near death. Okay, I always thought I could like you could actually succumb to it. But yeah, okay. Nope. Okay, That's so just to let you know, the reason why his name is also uh, Cluckhone is because that is how his name is spelt in the Japanese version. They Shop. change it. They oh. made it. They made it more. Uh, they made it crackhorn in the uh, in the English version. Because they would have. We would have thought he was chicken. <laughs> chicken. I'm gonna see myself out the door now. <laughs> I'm okay. usually Oof. the one who does that. Huh. So so yeah, our, our reintroduction to the karate chop chopping freak. Yep. Hey, Lisa. It you know, I still look changed. at that face and I don't quite get outright heads out of them they look more like freaking masks well yeah because yeah. they're skinned from flesh well i mean but, but i get what you're saying like it looks like some of them creepy masks from the yeah it, it, it's, it's, just, it's just the textures that make me feel that way like i if they, they were to pull lisa off in another like in the future of resident evil one remake if there ever was one let's be real they probably could make it a little more convincing so we're gonna look now. Also, since, since also since we're not crisp, we have to do this puzzle properly. So this is an eye surrounded by two ticks. So it's so the red it has two ticks. So this red lamp has two ticks on it. <coughs> Where are the ticks? You'll, uh, they're, they're around the eye. So when we light this bless up, you. you'll you'll see. Thank you. you. You'll see here. See how there's two ticks on the left and right of the eye. Oh. Like they're kind of, like they're jutting out, and the other one was like they were at the top, and it's a. It's like, it's like moving clockwise, and here, 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 you'll be able to see a little bit more with this one here. So when we light it, see this, this one has four ticks. It, oh, it's so the you mean lashes. I, you mean eyelashes. It's the lashes. <laughs> Sorry, lashes, I guess I should have said. So, uh, God forbid one of these things had 40 lashes. God yeah, damn. That tells you the order, and once again, red, green, and orange, those are the, the, those are the numbers to press in the order. Oh. Oh. I like how you can obviously hear uh, Barry's voice, but not the other voice. 
I think he's on a radio. Oh, that's fair. Oh, yeah, he is. That would make shit. sense. It was so a fair bug. So Barry's fa well, there oh, are Barry's. a few. There are a few moths on the like right there. So yeah, Barry's family seems to be in danger of something. And actually, we aren't that too. We're actually not that far off from the um, wasp hive either. That is true. The freaking ugh, I hate that section. So yeah, we're gonna charge in now that we have heard, misheard, overheard this conversation. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Barry. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I'm starting to think I have an imaginary friend. I like how he says, I think my age is starting to take his toll. Literally 20 years later, saves his daughter and still is a fucking badass. Yeah. Also, he was uh, he was trying to make an excuse. It's, <laughs> I heard you talking to someone named Wesker. Oh, no, that was my imaginary friend, Mr. Whiskers. Yeah, senile, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, he wears sunglasses a lot. Damn it. Oh, that, is one, that is one character trait. Uh, I'm gonna just um, see, see myself out, see myself in, uh, in to the in and out. And uh, no, no. I wish, she's I wish there was Barry today. I wish there was an in and out uh, here where I am. I like. There's that. one not too far from here. I just haven't been there in a long time. It sucks trying to go to the one by me because it's every in and out. Every it's again, it's like a joke to them now, and they're in on it. Where like also real quick, notice the ticks. <gasps> This tells you th these were how you're supposed to match it. So that one had the red one. This was the orange. Uh, the red one. That was the green one. Done. Press the buttons as you saw on the pool balls. Now Jill can create V Jolt. Oh that. Oh yeah, that's right. Ready to watch some math at play here. Ah. Anyway, uh, it's just combining. And I, and I will show. And, I, and we'll show this whole sequence off since yeah. You're showing three. You're saying Logan. By it's the all. Way. It, and it's and it's almost less about math as it is like you're trying to make the colors work. So remember that book well. It'll tell you which to combine with what, so that you do get the proper bluish, reddish V jolt. Anyway, and the, and the equation you, and the equation that you do need to solve should still be scribbled on the wall. I believe so. Yeah, and I was and I was just saying to you, Matt, that um, green, sorry, and blue. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I was saying, Matt, is that in and out? Like it's they just make so much freaking. The line will go out of the restaurant, away from the restaurant, onto, like, the middle turning lane there, there we go. of, like, the adjacent street. And instead of... They bear, they don't even use the drive through monitor anymore. Ah, oh, here's the roots. <laughs> Hello. How do you kill a weed? You go to the root! And no, we're not going to just do his thing with Becky. The, the thing uh, is that... Uh, it's like that. Not it's they don't. They barely even use the drive-through monitor. Instead, they'll make some underpaid employees stand out there for four hours in the sun, Ugh. taking orders from cars who are on another person's drive. It's just Unfor make a second lane. Unfortunately, I know for a fact that uh, the same thing happens at Whataburger because uh, Paige tells me that, and I feel sorry mm -hmm. for them, especially like California and Texas, incredibly fucking hot, like super fucking hot. Um, yep. Ah, Yay, it. it's dead. V jolt wins. Or uh, is I'm it? Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm mad. It's just it was, we didn't we didn't kill the boss. We just made it easier. Ah, oh. yep. <laughs> you just made him angry. You thought I was dead? Ha! Jokes on you, bitch. Oh boy. What get the this hell one. is this thing? It's a what the fuck do you think it is? Just shoot it. Oh. Anyway. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, does he have, he does have to be careful? He might accidentally hit Joe. That is fair. But now he's close. Actually, I think for the remake, like you have to make the diesel this time for Barry to appear. Look at him go. But anyway, I think you just have to make sure he doesn't die. And this is so cool. And there we go. Now the boss is dead. Yay. But anyway, mm -hmm. the the what um the one thing I'll say about like uh I completely forgot. His oh yeah, no, now I remember. Well, water burger. Here's the thing. You think that's bad, Logan? Please remember, there was literally a four-mile-long line for a White Castle place in Florida. That was close. <laughs> Only in Florida would something that stupid occur. And the wait was over two hours. What was that? What the hell's going on? Why? All that for, all that for subpar, all that for subpar, subpar the, onion all, meat. All of that for right. the all worst the burgers. Barry. They're not bad, but it's just you need Something to have a. It's man, just a little oniony for me. me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. You're gonna stay here with the killer plant that we just killed. I mean, those toxins are probably still out and about, Barry. 
There's that, the sharks. Oh, yeah, oh and the whiskers. And the whiskers. And don't yeah. mind me, I'm just playing so Duck Hunt. This <laughs> cuts over, it's just a broken TV. I'm not very good at it. I ran, I ran out of ducks to hunt, so I had to settle with the next best thing. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? The dangerous game, Barry. <laughs> Play key. Oh god, actually, that would be that would be an interesting little. I mean, there's really no point in it now considering Wesker's dead. But just imagine him literally playing the role of the the, uh, the hunter in the in the uh, freaking um, longest game. Be very very quiet. I'm hunting Redfields. Uh... <laughs> Let's do it! Some people hunt for thingamajigs. I'm on the prowl for G samples. I hear you, Brad. Over. Well, actually, no way. He wouldn't be the one after G samples. That'd be fucking, um. Birkin. Birkin. No, oh, either Birkin that or his wife. made G samples. His wife was looking for them. Yeah. Yeah. Brad. Didn't want to wa waste, waste her hubby's work. Hmm. Brad. Can you hear me? Uh, I just saw a thumbnail that made me think. Just, to, just to completely derail it a little bit. I was, I was hearing that uh, the sp the new uh, Sponge on the Run Shit. movie wasn't the best. Oh, well, no, it, it, it's new. It's been out for a while. The the problem with Sponge on the Run you, is you. the fact that it literally. Is that uh, voice Enrico's? It, it, the the You're problem alive. with Sponge on the Run Stop. is that it's literally trying to um. What was no. it? Fuck! I can't talk. Uh, it, it's slightly an retcon. The stars are uh, that too. Yeah. Someone its main thing is that it is an advertisement. Umbrella. I'll be back by the yeah. way. Yeah. All right. You're fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he oh boy. Gonna, he had to tie up a few loose ends. The bastard. Just immediately, Matt's like, I gotta run. I gotta go. Enrico. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Enrico, coincidentally, right as Matt leaves the scene of the crime, is shot, and... Are you uh, implying that Matthew Carranz is the traitor? I thought it was Karen's. No, that, 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 never mind. Never a, little, a, little, a little too much information. For I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just naked. Anyway, um, that's how we get the crank. As you can see here, like again, Resident Evil One is pretty. Hello. No, welcome back. Resident Evil One. Welcome is so back. Mr. Mr. Brody, you just returned to the Rico. scene. The... Sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. We're just going downstairs. Right, but yeah, James brought, say... James brought James brought James brought James brought up a good point. You left pretty quickly after Enrico died. Just at that exact moment. Mm. I gotta go. I have nothing to do and... with that. And yes, as you're, and yes, as you're noticing, I'm not even showing the, the black tiger fight because I mean, again, it's just flame rounds. He's dead. Did you edit this down? The noise I heard. Brian. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Just a bit. Just to show, again, I was focusing on the cutscenes and not like all the gameplay because otherwise this would have been right. like a two to four hour long video. That's fair. yeah. Have any idea as to what Which we don't got no time of? for. Ain't nobody got time, time for that. Besides, we're gonna, if we're gonna be spending if we're gonna be spending time, you know, padding out padding out gameplay, we're gonna do that with a remake. Yay! Or two yeah. remake, my, my bad. Two remake, and with the shoot 'em up games that we'll get to eventually, which I'm looking forward to. I, I mean, honestly, I, I think we already brought that up. That's gonna be the next thing we do after we're done with the remake. Yep. yep. Which means we're probably gonna have to start practicing up on that soon. Do it. Uh, and then you and I, Logan, have to get back to recording four. Jill. Go check you're, out. You and I both know you're not going to drop eight until you plat it. Remember, no, remember, I'll... Logan's your favorite. Logan's your fav favorite handgun. Okay, yeah. Logan, I need the pistol. Logan, I am willing to go back to playing four. You know this, right? I know, I know. We have, we should we. How? Oh. That's his comfort game. Like Sorry, box Jungle pushing always me. gets me tired. Yeah. Uh, I I do believe. Yeah, I know. We we got past the first like, I think first chapter or so. We just have to continue moving forward. Yeah. Uh, the, awesome. the no the the main thing is like you were talking about you know you're not going to stop I I'm going like honestly eight I just do on like my own time now so don't worry okay okay so moving around this here what we're what we're getting up to is that once we come back here to get the hey! flamethrower the fuck Barry Barry ditches us. Then we go through the whole thing. We skip ahead. We find him again. Oh, I guess there you, you are, have you to push fucker. Those things. You're alive. And oh wait, I no. Look, I just know some of the chains are not connected, so you don't have to. What push the hell you, you think you're doing? Start <laughs> you think I just went as far as I can oh, to be stuck up by you? Believe me, I can explain. 
Don't lie to me. Also, devil damn. bigger That's than her big... head. I was about to say, devil damn. I'm sorry. Uh, Am I interrupting something? No, you're fine. Also, I just noticed the giant yeah. iron bag. Maybe she is meant to be a G virus. Uh, Oop. But she's a lot of things. I hate statues. And she's pissed. Oop. So. No time to talk. Now this you is important. If you if you do give if you don't give Barry back his gun, he dies. Because he's not gonna be able to defend himself at all. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I heard a click like the gun was empty. But now do you get but do you get to keep the the, the magnum for yourself if you take it? Yes, you do. And I do believe it's the most powerful weapon in the game if you do decide to keep it. Yep. Right. Also, but once again, as you see here, same exact you know same exact scenario, same exact. You know, actually, now that I think about it, I think that's the only time. Uh, Actually, no, never mind. Also, I was about I to say that. I think that's the only time Jill's allowed to even have a magnum, but I think that I'm speaking incorrectly because there was also there's still the uh, original game. Yeah, but also right. the uh, where oh oh okay, Barry is alive because of no 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 she didn't. I don't believe yeah. that thing's really dead. Uh, it's dead. It is. Leave this place up to me. But yeah, no the okay. uh, so I guess I was wrong. You do gotta still push the blocks, but you gotta you be probably don't have to push, push as many though. And here, this is what they look like in other versions of the game. They remove yeah. the little buttons, try and censor it to not look like a GameCube, hmm. even though... A, a, for, a shell of its former self. I don't think it was, like, required. They could have just, you know, left it. My whole thing is that, where are you going to insert the disc now? Good question. Oh. On the side? Eh, maybe. You have to enter in the codes manually, like a freaking gift card. I mean, granted the, granted, the front of that thing does kind of look like look like a jutted out uh, CD, like a CD, and like the you know, the yeah. thing you put your CD into, the yeah, drive. That's fair. That makes fair. sense. Pass, push, uh, elevator, elevator, elevator will stop during emergencies. Uh, must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Uh, at least one consultant, A. Wesker. He was a consultant researcher. Yeah. Also, so, yeah. I, I think we, I think we brought that up in the original game as well. Yep. Oh yeah, we did. And I, I was showing this off because I uh, I realized I forgot this this little piece of this piece of lore on the shelf. But I am I I am Panax did get it. And mm -hmm. there's the T virus. I'm that is still the mystery to me. Is I'm still curious. The tyrant itself was re was regarded as T dash double O two. I'm gonna look up what is T double O one. Uh, not sure. Proto, okay, it says he was the proto tyrant that was in, um, Zero. Zero? Oh, it was in Resident Evil Zero. Yeah. Right, because T double T double O is that's that's Mister X. Yep. Right. So the basically. The I mean, T that, that's pretty much. The, I mean, that's pretty much the reason why I tend to call him uh, T double O extra large. Yeah. I also didn't show okay. this off. It is actually once you insert all three mo discs, it's possible to get here before you trigger the self destruct Jill, switch. Big going down, it's just, I don't think frankly, there's the no real point. To, apart here. from this cutscene that can happen that I didn't show off. Sorry. There's no real reason to do this until after the self destruct switch is open, because then out. the door will unlock okay. to no let them out. Scene, though. Bye, Chris. But what if there's credible evidence we could use? No I sightseeing. I promise to remember you in therapy. Wait, no, you can't afford any of ones. Holographic sandwiches. Honestly, I just Jill. I just realized I now really <sighs> want somebody to right dub right. the entire like that whole Plankton episode, but it, where he becomes but make Plankton Wesker. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. And do you know? Food restaurants. And do you know what I want more than anything in the whole wide world, Chris? A booster seat. A booster seat. Hot dog. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, no. I was thinking it was that, and I was also thinking of like I don't know. Why I was also Magic Wesker. Like Wesker. it worked. The device was real Thank and you, Barry. corporate oh, casual. Casuals. Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. So yes, this who knew? is my lab, and you just see Tyrant acting like a dog. If he doesn't do everything, I but yes, as you hear, actually that would be Nemesis, That'd be Nemesis in, the in the remake. Yeah. Anyway, as you're seeing here, well, Barry was working with Wesker because and Wesker I, I was holding the enemy hostage. I was one. I was actually about to say, like, what was in Wesker's head, thinking that he was so, like, he was so casually willing to share out that Barry was all as much of, about as much of a hostage as Jill is. Smart girl. But I think uh, because the, I because he knows that Tyrant is probably time. going to kill them. I'll burn all of them along. Gee, Gee, and I thought so you were stupid. Wipe out the entire. Wipe out the entirety. Right what the, Barry? 
Barry. Yeah, I guess it's just supposed to like wiping them all out, hoping all the evidence really be destroyed. Be umbrella. You an umbrella I don't know why, but I love that line. You gotta love Barry. Ow! Jeez. Umbrella. Well, it I didn't even sound like he pistol whipped her. That was a weird sound effect. <laughs> it had nothing to do with. It was like a stock foot, stock punch effect. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. You work for Umbrella, I thought. What? Yeah, but what his whole thing is that else. he basically... I guess it's time for show He works tech. for Umbrella, but so that he can make it to the top. Oh, that's right. He wants to rule Umbrella. He ain't gonna be no lackey. He's too good for that. I mean, I look at, those... I mean, look at, uh, I mean, look at the fine child he's made. I swear, those <laughs> bumps at the beginning almost look like submerged eyes. Submerged eyes? I was also thinking fucking frog eggs. Those two. And he has a... Imagine if it, God, imagine if this thing could procreate. Oh, God. And also, I'm sorry, but the fact that he has a nose means I can no it's longer take him seriously. Okay, you <laughs> make that joke about... <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, that whole I thing with uh, Nemesis, it just makes no sense and it looks Ooh. stupid, okay? It's not the fact Damn. that he had a nose, it's that the nose is like... Crooked Barry. and smushed and looked weird. Forgive. You see the rest Damn, of his also, face. You really think the nose should look straight? Also, are we just gonna are we just gonna gloss over the fact family, that Barry just like killed? My back on my friends Freaking again. just Wesker. Oh, oh wait, not quite. I can survive but, Magnum rounds. I survive but, yeah, RPGs later on. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, no, he just straight up shot him, and well, I mean, just in his. I can't tell if it's within his last breath or if he was just, you know, injured or whatnot, but that could have made a for a plausible excuse to make the Jill scenario canon. You know, not going to lie, see, oh but it's all but yeah. it's also the fact but it's also the fact that like <laughs> Okay, never mind. He's, he's still up and at him. Never mind. Jill and but no, but but right, but right here, this but this could still yeah, be canon as well because of how he's gonna be fully dead, because I believe wait for it. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. Oh no no no! Them meet Kali. Them meet Kali. Oh, oh that that's not. I guess it's not fully dead. Oh no. It may it makes more sense in Chris's because Chris like you could imagine like he sliced into him so he could have injected him with T virus. It's kind like it's kind of like how Nemesis did it to uh, Brad in regular, in my opinion, Canon Three. I'm okay with Three Make Still. It was fun. You gotta get close to me. I got ass arounds. Even she's like, you coming? Okay, there you go. Done. Well, that didn't take much effort. Yeah, acid rounds are still really freaking powerful. They're super powerful. Especially against living things. God damn it. Barry. God damn it. Barry. You got gotcha. it. Damn it. <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're, you're slipping up, Matt. I kind of, I, I kind of blinked. What, what was being said? He made a reference to the old game. I was scared. Uh -oh. We were saying like, that the acid the rounds reducing. are deadly, and James said, "Yeah, especially against living things." First, okay. Get out of here. How dare you? Oh, and also, oh, apparently, oh, and apparently, this thing Wesker just disappears. I have mastered the art of staying so still that I become invisible. And it seems like Wesker's the. And so I guess this is how they explain that. Yeah, the, the Wesker is the one who did it instead of Rebecca. Yeah, which. Eh. It is one of the, it is what it is, but at the same time, though, considering how, you know, what am I trying to say? Chris's scenario isn't, doesn't quite have as much meat to its bones as Jill's does. It kind of just feels a little, well, I mean, I guess it just has to have something to stand a toe against Jill and be, have it be considered canon, despite being the most cookie-cutter thing. Well, the problem, right. well, the thing is, the game assumes that you play Jill's scenario first, all the time. Uh, that's why Chris's I mean, yeah. scenario is a little more straightforward. Yeah, direct to the punch with everything. I mean, I guess so. At the same time, it's not that much shorter. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay, here we are once again. I mean, we're, we're at the ending thing, so how about that? Damn it. Now we'll talk there. about our ending thoughts Jill, and stuff. You just in I oh, think yeah. that this is a fantastic, especially it. considering this came out long Jill, before the big, you know, reviving, you know, Chris. remake Would you let me have my bonanza of the late 2010s. Right. Um, rendezvous at the heliport. I think that this game is a wonderful glow up for the, for the original. I think it uh, added a lot. I, I loved how it lo tried to add a lot of neat little twists and turns to keep the game scary, even uh, e while still paying homage to the original map and most of the original like you know set pieces. Um, controls nicely. It's probably the one I would find myself replaying the most, 
even though a two make is my favorite, I think one make is one where I can beat any scenario in an afternoon pretty easily. It's very yeah. straight. It's straightforward enough so that you don't have to do too much thinking. Yeah. Oh, and now, Hype, you can mention the thing where you... Because th- we didn't do it on camera. You said that this, like, signal rocket thing made you think of something when I thought it was going to, like, set it off because it's, like, all this big... Oh, my gosh, we got to hurry. Set up and... Duck and cover! Dude, wait a minute. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! <laughs> and then... Boom. And as you see here, we're just going to go to the final boss again. It's, it's, it's all shaking here. Um, do, do, do. Uh, James, what did you think since you played Deadly Silence for us? I mean, I've, I've only played so much of the remake myself, but I will definitely say, well... I know there's plenty of people that will outright say there's really no point in playing the original game when you have this. Oop. I would I'd more so say that they both complement each other very well, considering how different that they are. Like, the original game definitely set the foundation of what to expect out of survival horror. This game just fucked around with it to its benefit. Oops, right. Oh. Even though there are definitely Jeez. a few cases where I think they played a little too hard on, you know, removing instant gratification and, for the oh. player. That was already there, the original. Right. This guy's taking a lot more punishment between the two of yeah. us. Yeah, uh, but that's all I'll say on the matter. Like, it's a very solid don't. remake, and its its reputation was more or less earned. Yeah, no, definitely. Whoa! Oh, ow. And, like, okay. Uh, you know, Hype, what did you think of our... Uh, between what you saw with Deadly Silence and then with this game, what did you think of the two? It's Resident Evil 1, but scarier, and to a certain degree, prettier. I like the quality of life improvements they made on certain things. Can't say much else aside from that, partly just because I chill? feel like a lot of... Oh, chill. oh, thank God he dropped at the time. Oh, don't <laughs> continue. But yeah, like, honestly, I feel like what all you said and what all James and Matt are going to say pretty much covers what all I could say about the game. Okay, and I guess, uh, then Matt, uh, your thoughts on the remake of the first one? Uh, of course, I'm last anyway. Uh, I was sending you up to be la- uh, I know. I mean, it's called being I best last. last. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do love this game. This is absolutely an incredible remake. Also, slow Kaboom. motion! Whoa! Hey, wait, don't we forget someone in there, uh, Becky? <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. I uh, know, um... Yeah, no, I think this game is absolutely incredible. Uh, I do... It, it's in my top five favorite Resident Evil games. I think it is number five, honestly. Because it has great stuff and all that. Um, and it is definitely a great improvement on the original. I have one or two issues with it, but almost but not as many as like others and stuff like that i think it is amazing i can already i love this franchise to death so i could already imagine deep down like say if there ever is an re9 because they've already hinted that there's gonna be one and it ends up being about as good if not better than re8 or re8 or re7 i can just imagine you being oh i'm sorry re1 remake just drops them off the top five (laughs) <laughs> Probably no, because again, uh, my top five are uh, seven, two remake, uh, four, eight, and then the uh, regular, the original remake. So, oh, yeah, okay. I love, I love all that. I think they're great. Just yeah, this one has, it, it, like the other ones. Like also, you mentioned like earlier in our part. Uh, like, if Resident Evil 1 somehow got a second remake, I'm just like, yeah, we got it. It's called Resident Evil 7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it was set in Louisiana. Fair. I love 7, though. It is absolutely my favorite in the series, and it's definitely... Chris, where'd you get that thick accent? <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get But there. no, I... But... I, I do love this game. It is fantastic, and I can't wait to do the rest of the series. Same here, which, speaking of which, uh, Logan, why don't you go ahead and reiterate our, our current plans for the, uh, Resident Evil series. We're gonna do, we're gonna cap, we're gonna do our best to capture, uh, the events of, uh, I think it was gonna be, we're gonna do the Umbrella Chronicles first, since that covers the original prequel, and I think another sequel, Code Veronica. No, um, a, Code Veronica's in Dark Chron- Side Chronicles. Dark um, Umbrella Chronicles has, uh, RE0, RE1, which again, we already did, and, uh, RE3. Three. And okay. it has its own, and it also ends off with an original story involving and then, and Chris. Right, and then I think we were going to try and do two make just to at least introduce 
um, uh, uh, Leon. And then after the Tomb Make, we were going to then cover Dark Side Chronicles because it covers things that happened after the events of Two for Leon, including him and an old and a old war buddy of his that he had met on the on the Force named Krauser. And bleep that out. <laughs> I can say his name. They're going to say oh, it. Fine. Jesus, the game's and then we're, decades old. And then we're going to do four, uh, where Logan and I are going to do... Sorry, I'm taking our just to speed it up. Uh, then we're going to do four, where Logan and I... Basically, for the rest of the series, it's going to be Logan and I, um, where we're going to do co-op for uh, four. Yes, we've learned mm -hmm. how to do co-op somehow. Yes. Uh, five, we're going You're to... You're welcome, by the way. Yep. Five, we're going to do co-op as well, as per James' suggestion, by the way, for four. Five, we're going to do co-op because, honest to God, you cannot fucking beat that game without co-op. Um, mm -hmm. Six, we are going to do, we'll do co-op, sadly. And we'll do, and, and, and we didn't mention, but we'll do three and make somewhere yeah. in there as well. well oh, yeah. Three, I, I, okay. Well, I, think, I, I, I figured what we were, I think... I, I was about to say no. Three remake we were gonna do after Dark Side, and even yes. before, like before Dark Side, we would just do the entirety of the two remake anyway. I realize we've been droning on for a little bit, That's but fine. that it's more or less should give you an idea of what we're gonna and be then, doing, and, and the rest will follow. Soon. And then for the finale, yes. I'm going to do uh, seven and eight. Seven and eight. We're we're trying our best. Like there's a lot. It, it, it's I think we were talking about this. It's like um like Monkey Ball in that there's a deceptive amount of sequels and stuff that we don't like. We just have to cover them as best as we can. And no, we're not covering the books, the movies, or the stage Fuck plays. Fuck the yes, movies. The, stage plays. the first one was still fun. Yeah, that's okay. And the second one does anyway. have the amazing nemesis costume and scene. Yeah. But you yeah, just have to sit it. through a very obnoxious love plot. Correct. Bam. With that said, thank you all so much for joining us. We're going to take a little break from the zombie action, do some other silly things in the bit. And, uh, yeah. Uh, hope you all have fun out there. <laughs> no mention of my playthrough of the Barry Brook and Cooking Simulator? Man, gosh. That's a thing?